Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in the waning gibbous phase in the astrological sign of Aries. And this reading is for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Whew. Capricorn under this waning gibbous moon, under the astrological sign of Aries, fighting. Oof. I don't know, like you're supposed to fight for something. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be the emperor. You're supposed to do what you need to do. You're being called to do what you need to do. Ten of Wands is the first energy. Mm. Very difficult. Very difficult cycle. Jesus. Oh my goodness. So you're like, you impatiently want to get away from any trouble, any situation that's been bothering you. It's like you, you are, you want to get away from it. You just want peace. I'm feeling you want some peace. I need relief. Pressures of the world. Yes. Mm. Queen of Clown. Yes. You're feeling a little unstable. Unsure. Okay. Mm. You opened up with the Ten of Wands cap, so it's been very, very difficult. And you just, with the Three of Wands, I feel like you're so impatient. If there's a situation in the past, a past situation that you want to get away from. You want to get away from it quickly, by any means necessary, boat, bus, whatever. You want to get away from it. And you're praying that spirit will guide you away from this. Wow. There's an end of a cycle currently. Um, there's some current energy of a very hard, difficult cycle ending. Something is coming to an ending with the world. It's something that really made you unstable. Queen of Pentacles, Reverse Capricorn. <sighs> Maybe you impatiently got involved in something that destabilized you, meaning you didn't think it through. You were a little impatient when it came to this, and now you want peace. I think this had something to do with a choice in love. <sighs> yeah, you could have gotten into something quickly, and now... You just want peace. It was turbulent. It was hard. It was difficult because you didn't take the time you needed. But now you want to get away from this situation. You want it to end. You want it to be over. You want your stability back. You want your foundation back. You want your peace. You want to feel balanced. You want to feel whole. You want to be able to nurture somebody else. You want to be able to be there for somebody else. You know, right now, you, there's a lot of uncertainty. It's like your whole thing has been turned upside down. Your finances, your home, your stability, the kids, just your life. Mm. And definitely when it comes to love, there's a choice. There's somebody possibly, possibly on your mind. Could be a Gemini, doesn't have to be. Could be a Scorpio involved. Leo Aries Sag. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Pisces Scorpio Cancer. 
Leo, Aries, Sag, I said that, yeah. So it could be any sign, as you can see, but what's important is you don't feel good. <laughs> You're an earth sign, and when earth, when a king or queen is reversed as your sign, hmm, yeah, you don't feel right here. You want to be fulfilled. You want to be loved. You want to find your Ten of Cups. To find your fulfillment. You want love. Mm. You want to move forward towards love. But you're at a crossroads. There could be a Queen of Pentacles involved. That you're at a crossroads about. But things are not right with that king or queen of pentacles, Capricorn. It could have something to do with another earth sign. I don't know. Maybe another earth sign is your wish fulfillment. And you're at a crossroads thinking about love with them. How to restore the peace. You're getting a little impatient. You two had a lot of burdens in the past. You've overcome some things, but... Uh, not enough to set you two back on solid ground. This is somebody who's in your mind currently. This is current energy. Yeah, this person that you love, you're very, on very rocky ground with them. Things are rocky. Very unstable. Hmm. They're unstable as a result of this Ten of Wands. So, whatever you went through in the past, you were impatient with that choice. And now you, though, that cycle's over. It's done. And there's a, a Queen of Pentacles that, you need to talk to. You want to talk to. You have feelings for them. Things are upside down. You're upside down because things are upside down. Right. With them. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. This could possibly be a wish fulfillment. Yeah, there's a major disappointment here. Somebody abandoned the other. Somebody betrayed the other. There's a question of loyalty. Emotions were withheld, played with, games. But there's a disappointment. That's why the Queen of Pentacles is reversed. That's why you're reversed. You're disappointed about the past. It was not only a burdensome past, but... You're feeling that you were impatient when it comes to this burden. Like you impatiently, like you took it on. <laughs> you didn't wait. It's like you jumped right in. Look at that. And it was a bust. The Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah. So this is about a past love that was a disappointment. And it was very troublesome. It's something you jumped right into, or they jumped into something with you. You know, energy can be reversed. I don't know where you are in this reading. Mm. But yeah, you walked away. This cycle's over. That's what I was getting to. You walk towards peace and tranquility. Enough is enough is what I hear you saying. I'm done. I've had enough. You walked away. You walked away. It's over. Mm. It's over. Look at that. Seven of Swords. Yeah. This was burdensome because there was a lack of trust. There was a lack of trust. Mm. It's like you never knew when the next sword was coming. Very unstable. It was just about blows towards each other. I, you know. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords. A lot of swords. That's why you were not stable. 
you weren't stable in the past with them and you don't feel very stable right now. But this cycle is over. You've walked away. There's been a divorce, a separation. You're done. Yeah. It's it's over. Yeah, you're moving forward. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse for Capricorn, August 2022. What should Capricorn be grateful for? Three of Pentacles. Things did not work out. Things did not work out. There's all, yes, I mean, just in terms of your stability, um, your money. <sighs> mm. Yeah, not working out. You two couldn't communicate. You couldn't come to terms on very much, Queen of Cups. But there's somebody else that's on your mind right now in the middle of August. Yes. You ended a cycle. <laughs> this Queen of Cups could also have been somebody you walked away from. Mm. That's why the Queen of Pentacles is reverse. But this is somebody that you love and somebody that loved you. Yeah. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Okay, spirit. I'm taking them, yes. This way. Okay. Yes, yeah, so judgment. Oh, yes. Somebody you walked away from, that's who's on your mind right now. You feel love for them. And and the reason that you're feel you you're feeling under judgment for the way that you may have treated them. For the way things worked out with them. You're feeling under judgment for the way that things transpired with them. Between you and them. In the past. Whatever happened. You realize that they may feel that you really stabbed them in the back. Um, or you feel that they stabbed you in the back. I don't know if it's you or I don't know. I know that this Queen of Cups feels like they were stabbed in the back by their wish fulfillment, by somebody that they loved. And whoever they loved and did that, they are under judgment and they are feeling it. They are feeling it. They're feeling the need to communicate with you or you're feeling the need to communicate. Whew. Come on, Capricorn. You're trying to figure out how to make this work. Two cards of you in your mind trying to figure this out. How do I communicate with this Queen of Pentacles who I love, who loved me, and who I walked away from? Now that you've walked away from this Ten of Cups that didn't work, this family situation, a betrayal, a very bad past. Yeah, there was no enjoyment. There was no honeymoon there. But you want that with this Queen of Cups now. You want some time. Mm. You want to spend some time together. And so you're all in your head with the Two of Wands and the Hangman. How do I turn this situation around? The Three of Pentacles needs to be upright. And the Queen of Pentacles needs to be upright. And you're asking yourself, how do I make that happy? Because you want to spend time with somebody. Yeah, I'm hearing you're a free person. And you didn't get love in the past. It wasn't about love. I don't know what it was. But it wasn't about love in the past. And so that's why you have love on your mind currently you it's so strong <laughs> it's a strong love the queen of cups it's undisputable love undeniable love they loved you and you love them but you separated you walked away from them and they may feel that you actually hurt them your intent was to hurt them and they were your wish fulfillment and you were their wish fulfillment and so 
somebody's conscience, conscience is being stirred. How do I get some time together? They want to spend time with you, Capricorn, or you want to spend time with them. You both deserve love. I don't know what this is about. Yep. So bring love. This bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. New. This is new. A feeling of new. You're grateful that you even had this person in your life at one point in time. You're grateful to have even known them, Capricorn. Yeah, bring love into the situation. That's the only thing that's going to definitely get you to your emotions back in touch um, so that you can spend some time. It is going to require you to be more loving, to put forward more effort where love is concerned. That's what I'm just being told. Um, you deserve love, but you know what? You're going to have to take your shot. You're going to have to aim and take a shot. You're going to have to take a shot at this love. It's all in your head. And so, but now it's time for you to turn that three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles upright. Yeah. Take a shot because you deserve it. You, you've come out of a very uh, hard, difficult, unemotional, unloving. With the ten of cups reversed, there was no love in the past. And that's why you desire love. That's why love is so important right now. And Spirit is saying, you deserve it. But you're going to have to bring it. If you want love, you got to bring it. Ooh. That's the only way you, you're going to get time together with this Queen of Pentacles, who's reversed. Or this King of Pentacles, Capricorn. The only way that you're going to get them is by being very loving bringing love um you deserve it so you have to appear as love you know and i know you're like thinking it's impossible you're thinking it's impossible with the queen of pentacles reverse and the three of pentacles reverse that's why you're all caught up in your head in the future but spirit is saying don't be caught up in your head bring love love is an action word it's a a verb okay spirit that's what he just said you gotta bring it you gotta come with it and believe that the outcome is gonna be what you desire right if you really deserve this love you gotta bring it and believe that you're gonna get it that you're gonna be able to turn this situation around because you're gonna be so loving they're not gonna be able to resist you it's gonna be like oh my god Capricorn just is being so loving. Or oh, you're going to say, dang, they are being so sweet. Or this is the love that I remember. Mm. You could do it. You could do it. Come with love and you'll get love. That's what I just heard. Yeah. This is abundance. This Queen of Pentacles is your abundance. <laughs> It is, it, but you know, this is about you having the courage, right? The courage, the confidence to do what your conscience is telling you, what your intuition is telling you in the future. Don't be hung up in your head because that's what you tend to do. You tend to think about it more than taking action. That's why Spirit said love is a verb. It's an action word. And this person is your abundance. This is it. This is it. Cap. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Your past may have made you feel like a victim, but Spirit is saying open that heart. Keep that heart open. You're going to need an open heart to bring love into the situation. That's what you are being told to move with, your heart, right? Your heart in your hand. Open that heart because you can be very close sometimes. And this is a time in the middle of August for your heart to be open, for you to believe in love. 
just let it emanate from you. Is that the right word? Whatever. Let it exude from you. Okay? Because this person is the right person. This is somebody very important. Somebody who can add to you. All right? So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you were able to identify with what was said. If so, like, subscribe, leave me a message, a comment. Hit the notification bell so you'll know of all videos. Check out your readings for your other signs in your birth chart. If you subscribed, I love you. If you haven't yet, listen to your other signs. And more importantly, try and pay attention to whether or not things occur what's happening in your life, and who gave you the 411 on that. That's what I have for you. Namaste.